So today we're going to do a video about the changing of the mountings of this BMW E46. I know you guys are waiting for a video about the comparison before and after with this supercharger kit. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a little bit delayed because uh, we are trying to figure out some issues with this uh, kit. But sooner or later I'm going to post it. We decided to change the mountings. I'm going to show you why uh, on the engine. And we're going to do just a brief comparison between the old, the new one, and the upgrade ones. That let's say upgrade ones, yeah. Probably. Uh, so we're going to just a brief comparison. Uh, and yeah, actually the mountings of these engines are hydraulic ones. So yeah, let me remove them and I'm going to show you how they look like and uh, what we're going to install. So the main reason that we decided to change the engine bushings is because before a few days I saw that the crankshaft pulley is rubbing to the fan, to, to, to the electrical fan, as we can see, the missing paint uh, on the damper itself. It's pretty obvious that the engine is moving backward and forwards more than usual. Okay, so the engine mountings are removed. The both ones are the same with the same part numbers, but we were wondering which one is going to have much more watt over the lifespan of the mounting. And uh, we decided to measure them. So once again, one is the left and one is the right, which means the right one is on the exhaust side and the left one is on the intake side. So if you take a closer look underneath the car, once again, the right one is underneath the exhaust manifold and we were thinking that the exhaust, ma the exhaust mounting is going to have much more lo load because the engine is angular and here it should have much more weight than on the left side. So let's see how much is going to be the difference in wear between the two mountings. Okay, so let's measure the first one. We're going to measure it like that. So this is the, I believe this was the right one on the exhaust side. And it is exactly, this is 62 millimeters, not inches, 62 millimeters. Now I'm going to measure the intake side, the left mounting. And it is 65. So this is three millimeters, uh, three millimeters taller than the exhaust mounting. So as I told you, probably this mounting on the right side, on the exhaust side, is seeing much more abuse than the <laughs> left one. So okay, we, we saw that the better one the, on the intake side is 65 millimeters. And here we have two brand new mountings. So this one here is originally made for the M54 engine. And I believe it was the same for the M52, but does matter. This is the original mounting, which should be direct re replacement for the other one. And uh, uh, you can clearly see the difference right now. And this here, this mounting is for S54. So once again, for the same chassis, E46 with the S54 engine. And as we can see, it's a little bit shorter. It's a little bit shorter. So let me show you the difference firstly with the original mounting. So let's do the measurement. So roughly 71, 72. And once again, if we measure this one, 62. So roughly 10 millimeters of difference, one centimeter. So I believe this is going to make a big difference if we install the new bushing but once again because we want to do an upgrade because this car has a compressor we're going to install the stiffer bushing from the s54 which is let me show you how tall the brand new bushing it is 67 so five millimeters taller than the worn out bushing but still, this bushing should be much more stiffer because it's made for the S54 engine which has much more torque, much more power and it is much more heavier because it has cast iron block and the M54 has uh, aluminium block. So this should be much more resistant than this one. That matter is more, more tall. 
So that's why we're going to install this because this car right now has much more power than before. So hopefully this is going to be is going to do the job because right now when the owner start pushing the car, the engine tilts much more than before. So yeah, this is going to be upgrade about the mount mountings of the engine bushings. And now I'm going to remove the gearbox bushings and we're going to see the difference. There it's not going to be so interesting, but uh, still we're going to compare them. Okay, so all the engine mountings are installed on the both sides. So I have removed the gearbox mountings right now and I was thinking that there are going to be some difference. But they are pretty much with the same height. Except that the original one are a little bit cut it on the top as we can see here. But the height is pretty much identical as we can see. So yeah. Still I'm going to change them. But uh, the main thing that I was want to show was the difference in the mountings of the engine. And yeah, don't forget to put this aluminium shielding on the top of the mounting because uh, this is going to increase a little bit the life of the bushing itself. The owner decided to upgrade his brakes by upgrading. I mean that he's going to change his discs, brake discs. So I just wanted to show you the difference. So this is the old brake disc that he was using. And let me show you how heavy it is. So let's zero up. 8.5 kilos. And here yeah, we need to take in mind that it has some wear on, on it. But yeah, it's not a lot, but it has some wear, which if it was brand new, probably is going to be just a smidge heavier. Uh, but let me show you what is the new ones that the owner bought and he's going to use. Once again, this is a brand new original brake disc from BMW, the Performance Brake Series, and it is 7.2 kilos. So it's much less heavier than the OEM one. So roughly 1.3, 1.4 kilos of difference, which is a lot of, as we know it, rotational weight. So this is the upgrade which we're going to use. And here he decided to go with OEM brake pads. And for those of you that are wondering what is the part number of this brake disc, so let me show you, yeah, this is the part number right here and the brake pads, some of you are asking me what is the OEM brake pads, what BMW is using so this is the, once again the both, this is the front, this is the rear ones and both of them are original one, both from BMW so on the front ones BMW is using Jurit and on the rear ones hopefully works on the rear one is Techstar so yeah BMW is using different companies for building their brake pads but some people are thinking that they are using only one company but this is not like that in this case so let's change all the brake discs and brake pads. Yeah, on the rear we're going to keep the stock original brake discs, which are these ones. Let me see. I have one open top. So once again, this is the original brake disc. Oops. Yeah. So once again, this is the original brake disc from BMW. Let's see how heavy it is. This is the rear one, but. I think it's going to be much more heavier because of the handbrake stuff inside. Oh, okay, it's not so heavy that I, I thought. So 7.5. Yeah, this is not a performance brake disc, but but. Uh, the front ones are okay guys i'm going to end up the video here for those of you that are going to ask is there some excessive vibrations or anything like that after the installation of the more stiffer m3 s54 
engine bushings, no they are not. We have tested the car, the car feels alright, everything seems fine. The main issue which we had that it was that the engine was moving a little bit more forward than needed after the installation of the supercharger because it has a little bit more power. So that's why we have done this and yeah, if you have made some modification on your M54, it's a good idea to go with this type of bushings. And once again, for those of you that are wondering what is the bushings that we have used, because they are aftermarket, let me show you the thing that we have used. We have used this length order and the part number is right here. So this is the bushings which we have used. Once again, they are the same. Doesn't matter left or right, you won't need two bushings with this exact number. Okay guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.